Hello everybody, Mr. Sticksman here, and welcome to a game called Marble World, which allows you to build your own track, and then chuck some balls down it. Alright guys, let's get started then, and today we're going to build our own marble run from scratch in this room here. So this is the uh, the only room you can build in currently in the game, and uh, you can start the track from anywhere you like. So I, I suppose we want to, you know, choose somewhere quite high up, because we can use gravity to our advantage then. Uh, so maybe let's start on this bookshelf here. Now, if we have a look down here at the left-hand side of the screen, we've got tracks, decorations, and marble spawners. So I'm guessing we're going to use a marble spawner from the start. Uh, so let's just grab that and, you know, just chuck it down here for a minute. But we might need to rotate that, to be honest. I think if you press R, there we go. So if you press R, you can rotate that 45 degrees each time. So let's actually get rid of that. Right, here we go. So we're going to press R like this. And it's inside the wall now. <laughs> right, let's just sort this out a minute. Okay, that should be good. Now, if we click on it, you can see that we can actually choose how many marbles are spawning in up to a maximum here of 180. And then you can choose the colours or the designs and also some extra effects as well. It's really cool. And you can name them. Now, guys, if you'd like me to name a marble after you and then send you down a track in a future video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, let's carry on here. So we've got our starter piece. And then if you go to track pieces down here and let's just do a straight bit first we get this straight part and uh is that going to snap oh, i need to turn on snapping here now to spawn in the marbles you can i think you just press f there we go so i pressed f and now you get all these marbles in random colors because i haven't actually chosen anything specific yet but uh, you can also if you just press this one here oh no i just spawned in some more by mistake <laughs> all right let's just press this one and as you can see, the marbles are... Oh, that was amazing. Look at that. We can control the barrier here with these two buttons. Or I think you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard. Yeah, that's it. And you can move it up and down like that as well. Um, and then that's to spawn them in. So we can spawn in some more here. Anyway, let's get some curves in here now. We can start to move this track around the room a bit. So I think when, when we curve it round, um, I'm going to flatten it first. So what we'll do is we'll put the curve in. And then I'm just going to actually bring it back up to horizontal again like that all right now let's get another straight piece and angle it down just like that and we'll probably do a bit of a sort of a zigzag down here another feature which is really good about this game is you can highlight the tracks you want and then actually copy and paste them so if we just select all those control c and then control v and then i think that's going to yeah look at that and then we can, if we just rotate this round all right, that's better. And of course, the tracks do snap into place if you've got this tool enabled up here. So, uh, I mean, it's just so handy. There's grid size as well, guys. Great features there. But anyway, let's carry on here and maybe do one more spiral down. And then we might try and do some boosters and some, you know, loop the loops and all kinds of stuff. So I guess what we could do is get these curves here, just copy those, paste them and move them into position. So easy, guys. It's so easy to do this. Very, very nice. It's R to rotate them. Brilliant. That is brilliant. I reckon we should just test this out, guys, to make sure that the marbles don't get stuck halfway or anything. So if I just use the bracket key here. And they're going, they're going. Right, let's... Oh, no. Camera controls. Oh, no. Some of them are getting stuck. And... Wait a minute. We are losing a few. <laughs> okay, not bad, though, right? We could put a booster on. That's a good start, guys. But, of course, these ones have not made it round at the moment. So we'll have to do some adjusting here. Anyway, I've got 540 marbles spawned in, so let's just delete all those at the moment. That's better. Here we go again. Yeah, they really lose a lot of speed here, don't they? On this side. All right, let's just chuck in loads of marbles here and see what happens. Come on, let's overdo it. Let's overdo it. Oh, they're all going to get... <laughs> it's a traffic jam. There's a marble traffic jam. Oh, no. Yeah, that is actually not what I expected to happen. We can force them down, though. Look at that. 2,000 marbles now. 3,000 marbles. Okay, yeah, they are going to get stuck, so we have to make some changes here. I've just put some boosters down here, guys, in the first corner, and that's under decorations and then physics. So you can also actually change the speed of them, or the strength of them even, which is really, really good. So let's just leave it on 20 for now and see what happens. But hopefully it's going to just, you know, send them down here a bit quicker, and then hopefully they won't get stuck. Okay, let's test it out. Yeah, we are going to have to have some more boosters down there, I think. But it is better, look. 
I think there's... Yeah, oh, they're getting stuck on this ledge here, aren't they? Anyway, let's get some more boosters down. We could even put a, a strip of it, to be honest. We could put it over here. There's the seam that joins the two corner pieces. So maybe if we just put that... Uh, we'll just rotate it around here. Brilliant. Okay, and then we'll just make it a bit stronger. We put full power on, guys. <laughs> right, full power booster. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that's really good. Oh, no. They're getting chucked into the microwave. Much better, though. None of them are getting stuck. That's very, very good, isn't it? And then we could put another one here, of course. I think we'll put the boosters on about 30 strength here, just because otherwise they might, yeah, they, they might get kicked off the track as they did up here. Let's reduce that. And also, I need to move this across a bit, don't I? It's not quite centred there, so maybe if we turn grid off. Perfect, and down a bit as well, because it is actually floating. There we go, nice and flat and in the middle of the track. Let's put that down to 30 as well. There we go. Now the boosting power shouldn't chuck them off if we're, if we're lucky. Let's try again. They are coming off on the first corner a bit. Oh, still a bit slow over here, but they're all getting down. It is working, and then of course, yeah, nice. Okay, let's carry on building the track now. Straight bit, curvy bit. Okay, let's make a really steep slope now down here. So we'll put a flat piece on first, and then we'll try, well, we'll select it and see how, oh no, I put it down the wrong way, never mind. That looks pretty good to me. They're gonna get some real speed up down there. So we'll just carry on the track for a bit. Right, I think one more, and then we can try a loop the loop or something, because we need a lot of speed for these things. I know they're quite tricky to get working properly, but I'm just hoping that's enough speed. We can always put some boosters on as well. Should we try it, guys? We'll just, uh, I'll put an extra straight piece there. Let's try this and see what happens. Right, so marble's coming off the first corner still, and the second corner. Third corner's okay. Right, here they go, here they go. Oh, some of them made it round. Yes, they're doing it. Oh, no, they're getting stuck. <laughs> There's another traffic jam. Okay, that's quite promising though, right? Because some of them did make it. I think when the marbles knock into each other, they do lose quite a bit of energy, don't they? And therefore, yeah. So let's put a booster here and see how that works. I am going to put this one on full power. I hope that's a good idea. Uh, and we'll just angle it down, you know, with the same sort of direction as the track. If that's... I think that's about right. Okay, we'll just put that flush with the wood there. Nice! Okay, let's try this, guys. All right, here they come, here they come. Oh no, two of them are stuck. Okay, that's bad news. It's better than before though, isn't it? Look at that, we've only got one stuck at the moment. Oh no, no there's loads stuck. <laughs> and the others haven't even got down here. That's much better than before though. Look how many got through that. Okay, I'm going to change this booster down to like 20% again, just to make sure that none of the marbles don't fall off here. And then I'm going to put another one over here as well. The last thing I'm going to do is change this section a bit as well here, because they are falling off on this corner right here. So if we just, oh, they're all on 20 as well. Let's try 10 on these ones, and maybe if they're a bit weaker, that might solve the issue. Here we go. Right, oh, we lost about three on that first corner. Loads on the second corner. Oh, yes, much better. They've got more speed coming down here as well because of the other booster up there. So, oh, we're still getting loads stuck though, unfortunately. I wonder if we can put some boosters on the actual lube itself. Okay, let's sort this out then. So I've decided I'm going to put boosters on every single join between the track pieces. Okay, so actually what we can do is just copy this and just send it up a bit. And if that doesn't solve the problem, <laughs> I don't know what will. I suppose we could just put less marbles into it. That's that's one idea, isn't it? All right, guys, we've got four boosters on this slope now and they're all maximum power. Let's see what happens now then. So we've just spawned them in. Here they go, here they go. Oh, that's that is so quick. I can't believe some of them are still getting stuck, look. But they're much faster than before. Oh, wow. It's definitely better. There's still loads coming down, though. Yeah, look at that, guys. We've only got, like, I don't know, what's that? Like, eight marbles, ten marbles here. Some of them are falling off. <laughs> There's still more coming down. Oh, I see. They're slowly rolling onto the boosters. Okay, well, let's actually flatten this off now and then take it round uh, to the right-hand side. So we'll go back to tracks and then curved. And actually, I will put a straight piece on first because um, we can get the marbles slowing down a little bit here. Otherwise, they are going to fall off the track. What we can do here is maybe have a split so we can have one track going into two. Okay, and then we could even have merge as well. So we could have 
that, a wider track going into a thinner track here. And if we go back to straight, you can see we've got these thinner pieces that can go on them like that as well. Let's try and put some of these spinner pieces on now. Are they? That's not quite flat, so I'll have to move that in a second. So now they're going to spin when a marble hits them. What are they called? They're called four bladed spinners, these ones. You can also get eight bladed ones, and I think that's a single or sort of like a two blade sort of thing as well. Uh, but we've gone with a four for the moment. So let's just select both of those and rotate them to match the track angle. Okay, that should do it. Now, of course, they are going to slow the marbles down. So hopefully, well, we might need to use some more boosters here. But what I'm also thinking is, you know, when marbles come down this section, they might get sort of jammed up in here and nothing will get through. But these spinners might separate them a bit. So we'll use those and hopefully they'll help us get into these narrow bits. The idea from here is that we actually bring the track kind of round in this direction and then back up to the shelf again so we can restart the track until basically it'll be a big sort of loop, a big circuit where the, the marbles can continuously go round forever, um, ideally. Anyway, let's carry on here. I'm going to put some of these things down now. They're called swell pits here under tracks and downwards. Um, but I think we're going to have to put them to the side slightly because what we want to do is have the marble go towards the edge of it and then spin around it till it goes through the hole, right? So we'll just put it over to the side and hopefully that'll be okay. Then we'll just get another one, we'll copy and paste it. Okay, that should do it. Should we try this, guys? Let's just test this and see how it works. Here they come. I'll have to sort out those corners in a moment. Right, through the loop. Oh no, some of them are still going off the track. Okay, the spinners are working. Look at that, guys. That's brilliant. They're only going down this side. So we might put some pins there to split them up a bit. They're going into the swirly thing. <laughs> and But none of them are going into this one. However, we can make a change to that right now. So how are we going to get this track to be in use more? Well, if we go to decorations and then props here. We've got some pins or nails as they're called here. So I'm thinking that if we just chuck some of these down, right, they might split up the marbles a bit. And well, hopefully that's going to be what's happening. We just chuck some down there as well. Okay, now let's see what this does. They are working a bit better, aren't they? But I do have an idea to make it even better, actually. Not quite good enough, but what we can do next is add a shape here. So decorations, shapes, and maybe if we go for like a a triangular wooden piece here. That's quite big actually. Let's try for a small one. And what I'm going to do, because what they seem to be doing is coming round this corner and then down the line on the side of the track. So if we just sort of force them away from that a bit, maybe with one of these things. Okay, this little triangle here could make all the difference. Let's test it out. Oh, it's working guys. Yeah, that's quite, that's quite even actually. That's a good spread there. Actually, I think more went down the right-hand side, but it's pretty even. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a bit too much. <laughs> but it did work. And they're still going through here. Right, let's try some more. Okay, yeah, more are going down the right-hand side, of course. But it is much better, isn't it? They're getting a bit stuck here, look. Maybe if we just make this a bit less aggressive, it'll be better. Okay, so I've decided to take one of the swell pits out because this one is working just fine because there's less marbles coming down here, but this one was getting a bit too jammed up. So I'm going to actually do something else different on this side. One thing we could do is actually have a slope like that, uh, which kind of goes down and then they can both meet at the same level down here. I've come up with this ordinary straight piece here just to catch them as they come down and we can join them back onto the same track again. Now we've got to get the marbles up really high in a minute and it's quite a long way to go. So we could, we could actually use some of these things which are like elevators I think they're called. They're called escalators here. So yeah, that's brilliant. We've got different types of them as well, all kinds of different things. We might have to actually join two of them together. Can you stack them? It doesn't look like you can actually stack them. Oh, there we go. Oh no, we haven't. Does that work? Oh yeah, look at that guys, it goes a bit weird here, so I'm not quite sure if that's going to work. Let's just bring the track down here a bit now. I'm going to build the track down this way, and I need to curve it kind of straight up so it lines up with that bookshelf. Um, but the problem is we're now at a really weird angle, and we don't actually have any 45 degree um, curves at the moment, I think. So if we go into tracks here... Yeah, we've only got 90 degree curves, and what's this one actually? Oh, that's a pipe, but it's also 90 degrees as well, uh, and so is that. So what we can do instead is have them drop down onto a completely different track, which is straight with the wall. So a bit like what we've done back here, but we're going to do it again. This piece is now straight with the wall, so if we bring it back here, and then just have these 
uh, this track here drop onto it like that and it's quite we have to bring it up a bit because otherwise I think the marbles might bounce off I guess you can join them like this actually but they do yeah it's sort of one's going into the other one a bit so I think I'll have them drop down Okay, that should do it then. Now, we do need a lot of space here because this is going to be an enormous escalator. Um, so we're going to have to start it back here, I think. Let's go into the upwards tab now and use the biggest one we've got, which I think is this one. A small but long escalator. But I think that is actually the biggest one. I think they might be the other way around, guys, because that's a small one, right? But it's called large. And that's a large one, but it's called small. <laughs> anyway, guys, we know which one we're going to use. So let's just use this one here. And we do have to uh, angle it a bit because otherwise the marbles probably won't. And actually, we're going to have to angle these tracks as well. Like that. And then just bring that down a bit. Okay, so we want the marbles to fall into this and then they've got to stay on the track. So if this is vertical, they might not stay on the steps here, whatever they're called. So let's just bring that down there. And we're going to rotate it this way, pretty much like that. Is that too much? I think that's going to be okay. We can always adjust it, can't we? So now let's try and match it up with the track here. I'm wondering if it snaps on to this piece. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there we go. I'm just wondering if it... Oh, guys, it does snap on. It actually snaps on perfectly. Let's just see if we can raise it up one or not. Well, we can. Well, we can. But yeah, it goes too far. So that is it. That's perfect. So that, hopefully is going to work very nicely with our track here and we're going to have to bring it up even further. We might have to use another piece of track just down there but it does snap on as well so that's good and then that's angled down and then we'll get another escalator here. Probably one of those. Let's just see if is that into the sea. Oh wow that's so high. <laughs> that's almost at the ceiling. Anyway it's going to work. So we'll get a straight piece and that's it. We'll try and sort of connect it up to here somehow now. I'm going to angle this even more. So the marbles can get a bit of speed up here. One more straight bit to get extra speed. A curved bit which we're going to make flat. And then we're going to go down from here and try to get fairly close to the height of that uh, spawner track over there. Alright guys, now as you can see, we've come back to the beginning of the track again, but if I put another straight piece on, it's a bit too much, it's a bit too long, and the marbles are just going to go straight over it. So what I'm thinking is, again, if we just uh, get this piece of track here, and uh, we'll make sure it's not snapping there, bring it down, and then back a bit like that, okay? So what they're going to do is drop from that, so let's make sure that's not flipping into that one. Okay, there we go. So now <laughs> we, we've sort of made a, a makeshift slope which goes down and hopefully that's going to work just fine. Well, this is our marble run for today, guys. Look at the size of it. And of course, there's so much more you can do. There's, uh, there's lots more decorations. Uh, there's going to be sounds and lights and effects, but we've also got loads of shapes here and we've got props as well. You've got houses, buildings, rocks, uh, what else have we got here? So barriers, uh, you know, road signs, street lamps, hedges. It's really, really cool. So we can get into all that stuff in the future. But let's try using this track for the final time here. So we're going to spawn in some marbles and see what happens. Okay, I forgot to sort out the edges there, but never mind. Most of them are going to fall down, I reckon. Onto the spinners using both tracks, which is great. Oh no, they're all coming off here. They're all coming off on this side. Okay, we've got a barrier set up now, so let's hope, I think it's lined up properly. Let's hope that that stops the marbles from coming off. I've just spawned in a whole lot more now. And they come, they're going up the escalator, guys. These ones have actually made it round, which is fantastic. Oh no, some are getting stuck on the loop. Spinners are moving again. Oh yes, the barrier's working. Look that, check that out. Yes, it's working perfectly actually. Okay, so they come onto the escalator here. Look at that. They're just forming in very nicely. Very, very good. Of course, there is a traffic jam as they build up, but... Okay, and then let's see if these ones have any got to the very top yet. Yes, they have. They're getting stuck down here. I thought we might need some boosters here, actually. So I don't have any at the moment. But some of them have got all the way around. Look, they're going around for a second time. That's just brilliant. None of them have got stuck here, so I reckon, yeah, it's here, isn't it? We need some boosters over here, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to put one over there and make sure it's not too powerful, maybe up to about 30. Because all we have to do is get it around the corner, nothing else. Oh, check this out, guys. We've got loads of marbles coming back. Oh, no, they're falling down as well, look. That was weird. 
They're all falling down. Um, that's very odd because... Oh yeah, so how did these ones get on then? If all of these are falling down here... I'm not sure if it, if they're sort of glitching through the wood somehow. Yeah, they're, they're glitching through. Oh, those are all right. Okay, so it's a bit of it's a bit hit and miss, really. Um, some of them work, some of them don't. It looks like in the corner. Anyway, let's just check up here. Go. Okay, they're going up to the top now, coming round. Let's see if the booster works. It looks good to me. We might need another booster over here. Because they slow down when they hit this part of the track, don't they? Yeah, we, we probably need a booster here or a piece of wood to sort of angle them round a bit better. But that's working really well. And they're going round for a second time. We've pretty much got marbles on every part of the track now. They're at the start, they're at the at the loop here, <laughs> sort of bunching up on the loop. We've got them in the spinners, we've got them coming down here through the swirly thing, and on the escalator as well, look. All right, guys, now the final test for today is that I'm going to spawn in 5,000 marbles, all right? Now, I can spawn in more, but I haven't tested it yet, so I'm just going to do 5,000, which is the limit that I've set it to. But you can, you know, I think you can go up to about 15,000 at the moment. But anyway, let's try 5,000, guys. So we'll go up to the start here and just keep pressing F to spawn in loads. And on the top right hand side you can see how many we've got. So I don't know, we might get a bit stuck here, hopefully not. Oh please don't get stuck. <laughs> this track is probably not designed for 5,000. We got just over 2,000 at the moment. Oh my goodness, they're already down to the escalator. They're so quick. That is very, very fast. I didn't expect them to get down so quickly. Um, massive traffic jam over here, but it is moving. 2,700. Oh my goodness me. Right, there's a massive blockage down there, look. <laughs> um, 3,500, 4,000 marbles now. Yeah, I didn't really think this through. <laughs> I didn't think this through. 4,500 marbles, no slowing down at all. I'm still at uh, 60 FPS, guys, as you can see there. And... Oh, I think they've all come to a stop pretty much. They are, no, they are still moving. This is really bad. They're not so much going through the loop anymore as just uh, sort of bouncing over the other marbles and <laughs> jumping off to the other side of the track. But, uh, all right, let's just... Yeah, look, 60 FPS. That's brilliant. 4,800 marbles and 5,000. A lot of them are falling off the side of the track and that's the max we're going to spawn in just for today's video. But we can spawn in more in future videos, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Anyway, it is clearly working reasonably well, but, you know, I think we could spend a lot of time on this, improving it and making it work better. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, today. I really appreciate it. This has been a lot of fun. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a very long time. And as I said at the beginning, if you'd like me to name a marble after you, let me just show you this, actually, guys. If you press F3, right, you can actually, now it only shows a certain amount of marbles um, or the names of them at one go. But look, you can actually name these things. So I could do Mr. Sticksman, for example. Uh, and it, there we go, so there's my marble, right guys, and I can do that for your names as well if you want and then send them down the tracks And in the future there are going to be some really good racing features um, Hopefully, you know leaderboards and you know first and last place and all the rest of it So hopefully we can get some of that going in the future as well uh, Do let me know in the comments down below. But anyway guys, thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now